Come on, bro. I don't want to wear this garbage. Why can't I have my hoodie? Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Austin, aka Duck Koala. What is going on, guys? It's been two whole days since I've uploaded a video, and I wanted to apologize for that, but there is a reason why I have done that, and I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys just real fast. So, the reason why I haven't uploaded a video in the last couple of days, your boy has actually had a couple of job interviews and everything, so hopefully I actually get a new job and everything. I was really stressed out for like an entire week just because I had no job and everything, and everything was looking kind of black and looking kind of bleak and everything so I was really scared but I have a couple of job interviews so hopefully or I had a couple of job interviews so hopefully uh, your boy ends up getting a new job or something like that so I was just I took a couple of days off just kind of just like dealing with my stress and everything and just kind of just like taking some time for myself and just chilling out relaxing and everything but we're back on the grind baby we're making more videos for you guys so as you guys can tell from this title guys we are going on with chapter two of Braidwood Manor last time we left off actually if you guys haven't seen that video yet make sure you do the link is in the description down below but for those of you that have let's push forward if you've seen the last episode last time we left off we left our backpack at we left our backpack at the top of the stairs. We went to go touch it. Toy soldiers were all around and then like a little boy came up. We got scared, fell down the stairs, and then we woke up in a bedroom and a door opened and then that was the end of chapter one. So we're about to open this book up in chapter two. If you guys like the video, make sure to leave a like down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you're not part of the Koala fam, what are you doing? Also real fast guys, I am sponsored by Blue and these guys are actually their wireless headphones called the Blue Satellites. If you guys want to cop a pair for yourself I would highly recommend it they're like the highest quality headphones I've ever used I've actually went gaming the other day with these and I spent like 12 hours gaming with these guys on and I was totally fine make sure you guys use my discount code for 20% off with that right there and uh yeah and yeah they just make quality headphones and I think you guys would like it all right guys let's go ahead and get into this this is chapter two of the haunting of Braidwood Manor so uh here we go Alrighty guys, here is chapter two, out of time. Here we go, baby. Oh man, it's like heavily snowing. Oh snap. You watch with your heart in your throat as the bedroom door creaks open. To reveal a young woman dressed in the fashions of a bygone era, her dark eyes fixed on you. Don't be afraid, Duck Koala. I don't mean you any harm. Who... Who are you? My name is Eleanor Waverly. Welcome to Braidwood Manor. You're... You're Eleanor Waverly? As in that Eleanor Waver Waverly? I'm afraid so. You must have at least a hundred questions right now. Yeah, you could say that. And I'll do my best to answer them, but I must ask that you be patient with me. There's still so much I don't understand about this place, this existence. Tell me... Should we go, where am I, what are you, or how did I get here? Um, we'll say where we are first, because that's like we just woke up. So where am I? Braidwood Manor, of course. Okay, then when am I? That's an altogether more difficult question. I know that in your world, this house is a shadow of its former self. My world? So we're somewhere else? I don't know, Duck Koala. I've come to think of this place as a memory. The rest of the world kept moving and we just stayed the same. Um, we'll say, how did I get here? Ah, about that. It seems my little brother Simon gave you a scare and you fell and bumped your head. I carried you upstairs and put you to bed. I hope you don't mind. Um, not at all, I guess. You carried me? Yeah, I just said that. Are you feeling alright? Yeah, I think so. I just didn't expect that, I guess. I'm not as fragile as I look. I'm gonna say, what are you? Your kind would call me a ghost, and I suppose that's what I am. But I don't feel like a ghost. What do you feel like then? I feel the same as I did in life, except it feels like something's missing or like I've taken a wrong turn. 
I feel lost, forgotten. Now it's my turn to ask you a few questions. Okay. To start with, why are you here? I want, I'm here because I want to learn more about life after death. I need to learn everything I can about, about ghosts. So you're not afraid to be here? You wanted to meet me? Well, I won't pretend that this isn't a bit unusual, but yes, I wanted to come here. I wanted to meet you and your siblings. Why, might I ask? You look out across the grounds of Braidwood Manor and suppress a shiver. It's... it's complicated. As you peer through the frosted glass of the window, you notice a dark shape standing amidst the trees on the edge of the property. Oh snap! It's Jonathan! It's our crazy brother! Jonathan! Your brother's ghost melts into the trees, leaving you looking out at a bare expanse of white snow. Eleanor moves to stand beside you and she lays her hand on your shoulder. I think I understand. You were haunted before you ever set foot in this place. Eleanor, this is why I need to learn more about you, about your world, otherwise I'll never be able to help my brother. Just let me stay here, please. I promise I won't cause you any trouble. A frown creases Eleanor's eyebrows, and then she smiles slightly. Come with me. Where are we going? I'm giving you the grand tour, of course. After all, if you're to stay here, you may as well get to know the house. Oh snap. You hurry to keep up with Eleanor, she strides out into the hall. So, you're letting me stay? Of course, we never get any visitors anymore, and it would be nice to have company. You follow Eleanor out into the second floor landing of the Grand Foyer, gasping at the sight of the familiar room restored to its former glory. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! What was it like growing up here? I didn't grow up here, well, not entirely. We left England when I was 15. That must have been hard. I certainly threw more than my fair share of tantrums, but I came to like it here in my own way. Still, I would have liked to have seen England again before. Eleanor trails off, turning away from you to continue down the staircase. Well, let's not talk about that. I'm sorry. Don't be. It's not your fault. Just then you hear a sudden crash from somewhere downstairs! What was that?! Eleanor looks pained for a moment, then her expression resolves into a tired smile. Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. If you say so. When can I meet the rest of the family? Very soon, but there's something you should know. What's that? Unlike myself, my siblings aren't aware that they're... That they're what? Dead. What? But... How come you know? I'd rather not say... I'm sorry. That's fishy! It's just... Too painful. Why haven't you told them? How can you ask such a thing? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be cross with you. You can't possibly imagine what it's like to live with the knowledge that you're not really living at all. Trust me, ignorance is bliss. I wouldn't dream of taking that away from my siblings. You're welcome to stay, but don't say anything to the children that would upset them. Don't talk about where you're from or what the world is like beyond these walls. Just let the children be children. That's all I ask. Alright Eleanor, I won't say anything. I promise. We'll need an explanation for who you are and why you're here. I know! Uh, I'll introduce you as their new governess. Do you have any experience as such? Um, I did some babysitting in high school. Perfect. It won't be difficult. You'll see. 
Simon's the only one who will really needs watching. Clarissa and Thomas are old enough to look after themselves. Those are your other siblings? Yes, they're 14 and 12, respectively. Simon's only 8. They're all waiting in the parlor if you're ready to meet them. Although, it would be better if you wore something else. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? Nothing at all. It's very pretty, but it's, well, anachronistic. Oh. Well, what am I supposed to wear? <laughs> Let me see. You follow Eleanor back upstairs to another bedroom. She goes to the wardrobe and starts searching through dresses. I should have a dress you can wear. We're about the same size, after all. She pulls out a dark purple gown with an elegant white collar and holds it up to you. This ought to fit you nicely. I'll give you some privacy while you try it on. Man! Come on, bro! I don't want to wear this garbage! Why can't I have my hoodie? That right there is what we're going to call it, guys. I'm going to let you guys decide where what you guys want me to do. Do you guys want me to put on this freaking dress thing or should I wear my freaking hoodie? Let me know in the comment section down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the... But I hope you guys enjoyed this half of chapter two. So far, it's kind of weird. There was like a really, really like loud noise that she didn't want us to worry about, which is kind of fishy. She knows that she's dead, but her, like freaking siblings don't. How does she know she's dead and why don't they? That's also pretty fishy. And she also doesn't want us to tell them. That's another fishy thing. So let me know what you guys thought of this story so far. If you guys are excited for the rest of chapter two, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, like I said, if you guys want me to continue on with either the dress on or just continue you in like my jacket let me know in the comment section down below remember to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already by clicking on the little koala logo and there's two little boxes on the display you can click on those as well and make sure you guys check the links in the description down below for all of my other series guys but once again thank you guys so much for tuning into another video this has been your boy duck koala peace out